about 31, I had a question coming out of section 3.1, number 89. And this is where they said the number of cubic yards of dirt, D, needed to cover a garden with A square feet is given by D equaling G sub A. So let's just take some notes here, right? We're talking about D, right? This is the number of cubic yards of dirt. And A over here, that was the square feet of this garden, right? Square footage of garden. And we were told basically that if you knew the square footage of your garden, we could tell you how much dirt you had to buy. So imagine you had like a little, a little garden box in your backyard, right? Depending on the dimensions of your garden, depending on the square footage, you would have to buy some dirt to, to fill that up so you could grow some, some plants like some zucchini or tomatoes or whatever you want to grow. So the first thing we're told for part A is that this garden has an area of 5,000 square feet, right? And we can even see, I'll, I'll, I'll put notes here. We were given the units 5,000 square feet. That's how you would say feet squared, or I should say, that's how you could say feet squared out loud. You could say this symbol as square feet. All right, and then we were told if you have a 5,000 square foot garden, you need 50 cubic yards of dirt, right? Now, if I wanted to say this out loud, this would be cubic yards. So if I wanna put that into my function, this is gonna be my A value, and this is gonna be what G of A is equal to. Oh, that doesn't quite look like a G of A. This is G of A. So if I wanna write that as an expression, I will say, hey, if you tell me that I have 5,000 square feet of, of um, I can use my words, 5,000 square foot garden, I'm gonna need 50 cubic yards to cover that garden, right? That's how much it's gonna, it's gonna take, how much dirt it's gonna take. So this is again, input, right, output. Or you could think of this again as X, and this is Y. If I wanna write this as an ordered pair, it'd be 5,000 and then 50, all right? And so then part B is saying, hey, what does G, oops, what is that? All right, what is G of 100 equaling one? What on earth does that mean? Well, again, this is your square footage. So you have a much smaller garden. Instead of 5,000 square feet, you only have 100. And this is how many cubic yards, or at least cubic yards of dirt you need. So that's why I put, that means I for that one cubic yard of dirt is required to cover a garden that's 1,000 square feet large. And you could have written the sentence in the other order. You could say, if you have a garden that's 100 square feet, then you need one cubic yard of dirt to cover it. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.